So, I recently acquired some of these. 120 film for my uh, medium format. Very hard to find in the Middle East. Um, I checked all over Bahrain. It's just not available. And not even 35 mm. Uh, so, I thought while I have this, I will do a well, not an instructional video because I haven't loaded one of these in over 10 years but you will probably find out exactly what not to do. I really hope I don't mess this up because this is not easy to come by. So we'll be loading it into my most prized possession, uh, my Hasselblad 503CW. The good thing about Hasselblads is that you have to put in the, I guess, the dark plate in first. So you gotta. This is the holder. This is the holder for the uh, dark plate. Slide it in right in there. Lock it. Right and there we go. If the dark slide is not in here, covering the back side of the, of the film loader, this will not work at all. That's a good thing. So we put this in, lock it in, slide that. this away <clears throat> pretty simple flip this over that notch turn it anti-clockwise and it comes out there we go uh, so what happened is this plate has got a little... bevel right here. I don't know if you can see it. See that? It's a little beveled or edged. So I loaded this into the film like that. So what happened just now is as soon as I opened the loading dock, it pulled the plate with it. So definitely not the right way to put that in. So the bevel side should go facing the lens this way. So then, if we open it, no problemo. All right, so that's that. This goes here, this goes here. So we put this in here and here, that's that. Take it through here. Yeah, we're on the right track. So, we cock it backwards again, so that this plate comes up a little bit. So, do you see that? Can I show you? See that? And then, we feed the film in through here. Put it into the... And here, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we are. Just make sure that it's in here. Once it's in here and it's that's clear on this side, lock it back. And then 
keep winding till we find the arrow. There we go. The arrow right there, all right? Now, that goes on here. Lock it. And then we've got no number here, so we've got to wind it. Okay, this is making me nervous. Um, wind till we find number one. Oh yeah, okay. So if you saw before, it was all black. Now you can see. Focus, focus, no. Okay, there's a number one here and that's gone, that's gone to white. And here, the red mark has gone, gone as well. So basically means that we are on our first frame, we are ready to shoot. Put that back in. So we've got to align these notches, these two notches, right? Right there. Uh, so it's very tempting to just go click in. But if you want your hassle lads to last, take care of it. So you move the uh, lever to the side and ease the lock in. Now we're ready. You can remove the duck slide. Put this back here. Lock it in place. We're ready. We're ready for our first uh, first shot. Now you can't accidentally open it because we've removed the dark slide. Put it in the back. This won't open. Take off the cap. And there we are. Right. Right, that was me fumbling through loading my first 120 film in 15 years, I think. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you. I, I forgot a very crucial uh, information. I only have uh, one uh, film back. I intend to get more. So one of the practices that we need to keep in mind is that we need to have some identification if you have multiple uh, film backs uh, on what film is loaded in, right? So what we do is we take off this tab, this one, from the cover and put it, slide it right in here. Okay, so now if I have multiple uh, film backs, then I know that this one, it's Ilford Delta 100. And if I have another one loaded with a 3200, it's, uh, it's easy to identify. So I take this off and slide it in the other back or stick it onto the other back. And uh, we know exactly what we're shooting.